And our new projects that we'll be working on will be shipping container condos in apartment complexes, as well as retail spaces. And so we're doing a mixed use project, which will have 1,060 units. 60 will be retail, 1,000 will be condos. And we will be offering those for sale products for those who are looking to own their own home using the condo method. Wow, I had no idea there were so many uses for shipping containers. Ah, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to visualize this. So let's draw a picture for our listeners. If if you want like a 2,000 square foot house, I follow the stacking, but then you'd have all these little compartmentalized rooms. Is that how it works? Or do you remove some of the shipping container to have larger spaces? Yes. So with oh. the shipping container, typically you look at it, you just see walls. You can remove the walls to place them, stack them together or um, above and below each other to create the open space that you're looking for. And just like with traditional construction, you put up a wall, you can do the same thing inside of a shipping container. So depending on how the floor plan configuration you want, like a three bedroom, two bath, four, three, something like that, you can do the same exact thing with the shipping container. So I don't want people to think that we're doing some magical, think of it as steel built versus (laughs) stick built. (laughs) <laughs> okay. So the okay. shipping container, we're building it the same exact way as you do a stick and brick project, but we're just using shipping containers in place of wood. And also in general, your home will be wind, water, and fireproof, which is something you can't get with a stick and brick. Okay. So how attainable is this then for the average population? I mean, I think there's this consensus or not a consensus. There's a stereotype. You see TikToks or whatever, that it's only if you want to get one and have this super tiny house. How attainable is this for the everyday population? It's readily accessible for anyone who is open to green construction. I would say for a person, our ideal client is someone who is into improving their overall health because when you're the air quality in a green built home is different than a non-green built home. It's good for somebody who understands that this or is there's an environmental impact when you're doing a build. So someone who doesn't care what they build, they're going to build with anything. But our customers are people that understand they want to have a lower impact on Mother Earth. And then I would say the third type of person is someone who likes modernization. 